Hello and welcome to Mox Master. My name is Elder and today I want to share with you a quick tutorial showing how you can create an image grid which is also a carousel kind of slider. So because I do have a few classes already I will start from scratch so we can see what I'm creating here. So basically I will use a simple structure column. Let's make it full screen and inside here i will place css grid and i will make sure that this css grid is actually is actually inside the div container so i will place the div first and then i will drag the css grid inside like that i will explain why in a second first let's create some kind of structure for our grid so let's have four by four grid and we had a four one big image on the on the top left and one big image on the bottom right so basically first of all i want to add some square image so i have some square image here on my computer and i will copy this bunch of times i don't think i need it uh, like 20 or whatever like 16 times because well this one will be occupying four spots but anyway let's try this that right away i will make it a little bit smaller so you can see it like that 10 width okay so let's add a couple of classes to the big uh, images we want to have so the first one I will add a top left and I will quickly create some uh, make it bigger so this is a grid item so let's start at one and end at three for example four will be like that two will be it is basically one three or four whatever you're going for so I think three will be fine and when it comes to row as well we will start from one two three so it is kind of symmetrical like that so like this and then we will have well, let's say this one maybe maybe another one but let's add another one and type bottom right so bottom right and let's calculate how what number do we need here so it will start from three to four and for row it will be from three to well, from three to four so let's start from four no no from three to five and uh, this one as well will be three to five yeah because well this the third one is actually four so Something like that. I think this is exactly what I wanted, and I will get rid of the of the ones I don't use. So this is the image grid we have here. If we preview it, it is exactly like we wanted to see, and you can optimize it. Of course, make it a little bit different on mobile. I will just optimize the amount of padding we have. So I think twenty is fine for the big brick point, and here maybe let's make it fifteen. You can always open the class itself and change it like that for both the column and row for smaller breakpoints let's make it 10 and 10 and this one well, let's say 5 and 5 of course you not you're not supposed to do it if you don't want to it's it's up to you but i think this looks better on mobile devices we don't need as much spacing you can see it is dynamically changing okay now we want to make a slider so we have a div container as you remember and we can go to the sidebar here in the inspector and we can change the type to horizontal scroll and by doing that it is already working but let's duplicate our let's duplicate duplicate our item here which is grid container grid uh, css grid and you can see that it is already working 
we can improve a little bit how it acts so right now i think we can maybe set the uh, color of the buttons to let's say white and for icons we want to be let's say dark we can change the size we can go into classes and change the exact design we want for our arrows but this is not for this video so i will always show controls let's go back and you can see these are always shown if there is a somewhere to go so right now we don't have third one so it is not showing if we go and duplicate it once more now we will have you can see two arrows on both sides so we can go back and forth like that we can of course use our mouse to slide and as you can see it, it is kind of correcting itself to like arrive to the proper position and it is scroll correction feature if we disable it you can scroll like that so you can create crazy crazy like uh, grids and it will be just one big grid scrollable from from right to left and so on so this is it basically very simple very easy if you have any other suggestions or questions or video tutorial requests please let me know and i will do my best to share them on this channel as soon as i can so thanks for watching i will talk to you in the next video Thank you.